best not to ask what that noise was. Hi everyone and welcome to another American taste test. Bosco milk chocolate. What do I know about this? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I, I know it's chocolate. This is made in Salem, which is just outside of New York or something, isn't it? I don't really know my geography very well. So feel free to correct me, everyone else does. Bosco P. Coltrane. Let's have a look. It's a nice looking chocolate bar, isn't it? Oh, such an effort. Okay, so milk chocolate. Mmm. Mm. That's actually a pretty good milk chocolate. I wasn't sort of expecting much from it, but yeah, I'd get it again for sure. If I was in America, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's quite creamy. Yum! Memory since 1928. I really like the packaging. I like that it's got an old fashioned feel about it because it's got the paper and the alfoil. That really excites me a lot. Really, I have a pretty sad little life, so the smallest little things in life do excite me. Doesn't that excite you? It's kind of like, you know, Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory where you're sort of expecting to open it up and find a golden ticket or something. Sour Skittles. Of course we have Skittles here in Australia. I have never tried the sour ones before. And these ones are actually made in the USA, so I thought they might have a slightly different flavor to them. So let's give these a try. So they come in this little plastic bag. Okay. Oh, Judy. Oh no. Man. They're all messed up. They're all like melted. Are they gonna taste the same? Oh, far out. This wouldn't happen to other people that do taste test videos, would it? So disappointed. Should I still eat them? Yeah, I'm gonna eat them. I, I can't see why it would hurt them being melted. Yes, it is still in date and everything. So I'm not gonna die or anything if I have them. Oh, oh no, I won't die. Let's try these sour Skittles. Oh gosh, it looks a bit scary, doesn't it? They're in date, so they should be fine, right? Right? Are they sour? Ugh. Right now, my face doesn't know what to do. I sort of feel like crying, but my nose also feels like running. If you like sour candy, then yeah, you'll probably like these. They do finish off nice and sweet, which is good. It's a nice relief. My face wasn't coping. Hmm. Yeah, I like it when they're nice and sweet. But they do. They start off really sour. Wow. Sorry. Uh, they taste all right. Mm. See, I love it when they turn out sweet in the end. It's just that initial, you know, sour thing. I mean, I know a lot of people love that. I don't feel it's right to really judge it on these melted Skittles, but you know, the flavors in them are quite nice and strong. If you love sour stuff, then you're gonna love these. Look at me loving them. I love them. Mm. Hubba Bubba Dr. Pepper. I've had normal Hubba Bubba before, but never the Dr. Pepper flavor. I don't think we actually get it here in Australia. I could be wrong though. I'm wrong about many things. I like the original Hubba Bubba, although I haven't had it for years. I'm more into chewing gum than actual bubble gum. And the reason being is because I can't blow bubbles. So here it is. This is the root beer, what is it? No, I said it was root beer, I'm wrong. This is the Dr. Pepper flavored Hubba Bubba. Exciting times. Do I like this? Hmm, actually I don't mind it. I'm enjoying something that's Dr. Pepper flavor. Who would have thought that had ever happened? Mmm, that's good. So I suppose you're all expecting me to blow a bubble. Wow, you're gonna be really disappointed soon because I can't do it. I possess many amazing skills that blowing bubbles is not one of them, but I will try. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That was ladylike, wasn't it? I can do this. How hard could it be? <laughs> Did 
There it is. <laughs> sure, I used to at least be able to get something happening. Am I allowed to give up now? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is it. This is all I can do. This is as good as it's going to get. Pathetic, isn't it? I'm getting cranky with that now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm giving up. I'm admitting defeat. I can't blow bubbles. Got, got bits of carpet in it now. See, everyone can probably blow bubbles, but who can get bits of carpet in their bubble gum, hey? Not everyone. Time for a beverage break and today I have this, it's Kool-Aid and I don't really know how to make this up and it says here I have to put one cup of sugar in it and I had no idea, I'm lucky I read this because otherwise I would have just put that in alone thinking that that was kind of some sort of a sugary concentrate flavoured thing. Um, yeah, don't know what that was. It says here I have to put two quarts of water in. Here's the thing, I'm not sure how much a quart is. Now I've measured out this much water and I'm hoping and thinking that this is enough because we do liters here in Australia so quarts, I probably could have used some sort of converter but I just feel like this is right you know which probably means it's going to be very wrong doesn't it? So take that off. I got the great Kool-Aid because that seemed like the most appealing to me I'm going to whack this in and don't clump all up together, please. <gasps> that was kind of cool, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting it to be that dramatic. It's so colourful. Get over it, I know. Now I'm going to pour this sugar in. Yeah, it says I'll add a cup of sugar and I thought that can't be right, but I'm just following instructions for a change. Got a fork, I'm going to stir this around for a while and watch the magic happen. This is the biggest jug I could find. It's, it's obviously off my blender. I think I did have a jug but I've smashed it somewhere along the line. And there it is. I've got myself a glass with some ice and look at the colour of this. It's quite dark. It's like a really dark purple. I don't know if the colour of that shows up on my video camera. Let's have a look at this and I hope I've made it right. It smells nice and sweet. Cheers. Sorry about slurping. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's yummy. Yeah. So it's like a cordial and it's really flavoursome. This is a grape one and I'm really glad I got the grape one because I like it. And you know what's so thrilling about this? I actually got this right. Hallelujah, I got this right. I, I want you to all to celebrate because I usually screw things up and I didn't today. It's like a special day. Uh, oh, there was the bubblegum incident though. Well, apart from that though, forget about the bubblegum, all right? We're moving on because I've just made this really successfully. I know a lot of you are like, well, it's instant Kool-Aid. It can't be that hard. I'm really excited because I've always wanted to try Kool-Aid and I've just never gotten around to it. I thought, oh, Kool-Aid, it's going to be pretty boring and unspectacular, but I like it. It's great one the right one to get. Are there better flavours? What's your favourite flavour of Kool-Aid? Please let me know in the comments below because I want to know if there's other ones I should try. Pringles. Pringles extra fiery. They sound fierce. Let's find out if they are fierce. Oh, they're sweet barbecue. I forgot to say that. I just said extra fiery. Sweet barbecue. Don't you love that sound? It's broken, but that doesn't matter. It'll taste the same. Oh! Fire! Oh! Burning. So they are fiery. They have got a lot of spice to them. Do they taste like barbecue flavour? Yeah, sort of. Mmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, my tongue hurts. I like these. If you like spicy, then you're going to love these Pringles. And they haven't got that really fake and weird taste to them. You know how a lot of them kind of go, oh, it's kind of nice, but then it's got that aftertaste of, oh, is that poison though? But these don't have that. It, did that make any sense to you? I hope it did. I'm loving this Kool-Aid. 
Boya Dark Chocolate Mallow Cup. It's got a whipped cream center and it's got dark chocolate around it. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Made in Altoona, PA, USA. That was my American accent, apparently. It's bad, isn't it? Please, Tam, don't ever do an American accent again. You suck. It's quite sad. My accents all sound pretty much the same. It just sounds like an Australian doing a really bad American accent or doing a really bad British accent. Oh, look at that. They come in little tiny paper patties. Oh, and they've got some sort of an offer inside. What is this? Oh wow, I can start saving these little coupons and get absolutely nothing. I don't know what I can get. I can probably get prizes and money and I really, if I save these up, start now, I could be a millionaire. Must save 500 points to receive $2 rebate. Oh man, nah, it's too hard, it's too hard. Have fun, start saving. I do like that they've given these little offers inside. That's a bit cute, isn't it? Oh, they look like a Reese's peanut butter cup, don't they? But they, they're not. Mmm. Uh oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty nice. It's got a nice dark chocolate on the outside. It's actually got coconut through the top part there. I'm patting it because it's got coconut in it. And of course on the inside there it's got some marshmallow. It's sweet because of the marshmallow but the bitterness of the dark chocolate doesn't make it overly sweet. So I don't know if they make these with milk chocolate but I think that these if you're going to get them, get them with dark chocolate. Thanks for watching everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.